a lot of psilocybe species like psilocybe cubensis, they produce blue because of this enzymatic reaction with uh, the psilocybin turning to psilocin. And then some boletes will bruise blue because of the same oxidation reaction. Have you tried to dye with those blue bruising mushrooms? And does the dye, is it blue? Because you just said there's there's different uh, compounds that are, some are dye and uh, that you could use for dyes and some that aren't. So um, will you get that blue? Those bruising blue colors are amazing. And there are some boletes in the East Coast that are just like so deep and you put them in water and you see the blue come out and it will not stick to fiber. I've tried all sorts of things and I've done psilocybe tests, total total beige, like not, oh, maybe no. not even any color. <laughs> and then I've done um, these really deep blue bruising boletes. And usually there's a, also a yellow compound in a bolete, generally. And so that that is a dye pigment. So you like these big red boletes have yellow dye pigment in them and blue staining and red tones. But the only color that comes out most often is the yellow. And it's pretty crazy if you if you think of it, this is like a little trippy tangent, but but color, you know, is just the photons that the object is not absorbing. So it's like to say something's blue, it's like, well, that's everything but blue. Uh, and then yeah. it's bouncing off. So it's kind of a trip. <laughs> to view uh, reality in that way of, of, and especially if you work with colors, it's like, well, that object is literally everything but the color that we are perceiving. Um, yeah. so kind of, and we're seeing it upside down and our, our eyes just <laughs> shift it and everything. Flip it over. It just, yeah, and we might be in a simulation, so. <laughs> right, I know. <laughs> and you zoom down smaller than light, nothing has color. 